Okay, so question 11, it asks us to directly work out the circumcenter, okay, and circumcircle. So, this is a, if, if you have memorized constructions like I asked you, this should be no problem, right? Specifically, it's looking at um, right angle triangles. So, set the compass over, we're going to bisect the lines here, set the compass over halfway. Don't move the compass. So, we ha I want to be able to see these arcs, okay, when I'm correcting work, it's part of your workings for these construction questions, right? So I need to bisect another line, you can decide which one to bisect, you can bisect um, this one or this one, I'm going to go for this one because, you know, it's a bit longer and I think bigger lines are easier to do, right, so set it over halfway again. Crossover. Sorry about the camera, guys, but yeah, I just have to live with it. Sorry. Okay, so you see there, my crossover point. The crossover point is here. Right, and this is what they were trying to get you to realize. That's what it says for the second part of the question. It says, do another right angle triangle. In a right angle triangle, the circumcenter will always land on the hypotenuse. Okay, mine's slightly, slightly off there, so I might have done something a bit wrong, but it always lands on the hypotenuse. If it's spot on, then I should end up with. corners of the, of the circle there okay so there's the circumcircle now if you're a tiny tiny bit off I wouldn't be that worried you must show these workings though okay uh, mine works out fine because it goes through each cent and don't forget for the next questions what the circum circ circumcenter gives us is a distance so this point here is the same distance away from each of the corners of the triangle, right? Right, for question uh, 12, you have to actually, we didn't, I didn't do this as part of the video, but you're, should, you're, you're to be able to draw a triangle as well, right? So this is from your junior circle course, basically, but I'm going to refresh that for you now. So one side, I pick one side, right? So one side is six centimeters, because we've got a scale of six kilometers to one centimeter, right? So I'm just going to draw the six centimeters here. And by the way, you don't have to draw it at the same angle as the, as the, as the book, right? What we do then, the other, one other side is at four centimeters, four kilometers scale down. So I set the compass at four, okay, and I put it at one edge like this, edge of the line I've drawn, and do quite a big arc like that. All right. So again, you need to be able to see these arcs. The last one is six point five. So I set the compass at six point five. There we go. And I put it at the other end of the line and get a crossover point. So that means I know the distance from here to here is 4, and this is 6.5, because that's the radius I've set the compass. So then that's my triangle. So I should see these arcs here, construction lines they're called. Okay. Uh, and then it says... Um, this is where you're applying your knowledge for the circumcircle and circumcenter, right? So it has asked to show a place, a school, these are three towns, a school that is equidistant. So back to question 11. What we said was, and in my video, what we said was the circumcenter gives a point as equidistant, same distance. So 
that's where you've got to apply that knowledge. So I'm not going to do this because I've done the video and I've done this one here, right? So this is when you just got to bisect. So you bisect the two lines, right? So I'm sketching this. You do it properly. You get the circumcenter. That's it. You don't need to draw the circle this time because it's just asking for the point, right? So you just draw bisect two lines, get the crossover point, then you're finished. It's applying the knowledge. What's wrong, boy? It's not working. Do you want me to help you? Oh, no, I can't do it. My finger hurts. Hmm? What is it? Just take a break, then, I think. Okay, this is the last question for the homework. I've skipped one because it's the same workings, right? So this is the in-center. Go back to the video for the constructions for that one. 21, it asks for a campsite. So these are three, so I've constructed the triangle, uh, scale down. See how I've shown the arcs there, right? So this time they're asking for the campsite that's the furthest away from all three of the roads, okay? And this is the application of the in-center, right? So. We must know the applications of these. Uh, I'll explain why now. So the in-center, just to recap, we bisect the angles. Or two angles get a crossover points. So set the compass at a distance. Mark off two lines. Don't change the comp setting the compass. Two more arcs here. Okay, I'm going to do the line in a second. I'm going to keep the compass here like this because it's just handier. Seeing I've got the compass in my hand. Uh, I'm going to go to this corner. Do the same thing, line, line, okay. So then we try and get, well, we, we do get crossover point, we don't try. Slightly off there, I'm going to do that again because I didn't get right into the corner there. It does make a difference. Right, so for this question, that's it, right? But I'm, going to, I'm, going to, I'm going to do the circle as well just to explain the answer to the question. This is the in center, right? Now, to draw the circle, as I said in the video, you line up the base of the triangle with the crossover point okay 
example, this distance from here to there is going to be the center, the radius of our circle. So I just sort that out. Okay, and draw the circle. Now this is the one that you have to be really. Okay. So again, just like my video, I'm just slightly missing it there, right? So just just be. I think it's because my um. It's not going right to the corners there. I'm not too worried about that. For this course, all you need to be able to do is uh, camera focus, is show that you're able to do the workings and get it, you know, accurately. This is accurately enough, right? So, how does this apply for this question? Well, that's that one point, right? Is the equivalent of the radius of the circle away from there? The one point is the equivalent of the radius of the circle away from there, that road, and there. So, for example, if I moved that point to here, it would be further away from that road and nearer to that road. So it's not equidistant from the three roads, and it's the furthest point away. Okay, 